Hey Tires, Darren here back with another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying a pattern called the Alaska Marianne. This bucktail is the official fly of the Alaska Fly Fishers. It was created by Frank DeFresney. Several versions of its origin exist and even differing ones come from Frank himself. The fly was tied to mimic a lure used by First Nations who would jig for she fish and arctic char through the ice. The jig was called a Kobuk hook and was used, it was made from a sliver of ivory and a bent nail as well as some polar bear fur. Frank had a few of the originals and when he exhausted his supply, he replicated it on a standard streamer hook and the rest is history. Let's have a look at the material list and get started. Alright, let's get a fresh hook in the vise. Today I'm using one of my coveted Mustad 9575 hooks. This is a, I guess a vintage hook. It's a similar to the 3665 A series, except this one has a loop back eye, which is wonderful for placing bucktail. All right, let's get started. I'm using a 6 aught black thread today. We'll start by putting our thread on at the head. And we're going to wind this back just to the hook point. Trim off the tag end. I'm going to take a hen hackle. This is from a hen saddle. And I'm just going to strip away the fluff at the bottom because I don't want to use that on my tail. And then I'm just going to come on on one side here, grab a small bunch of hackle fibers, tear them away from the stem. And I'll fold those over. I like to roll them a little bit. You'll have to excuse my hands. I've been working outside in the garden today and uh, they got a little bit dirtier than I could clean. So we'll just tie in that tail. Next I'm going to take a piece of the uni tinsel. This is the flat mylar tinsel, the gold silver, and this is a number 14. So we'll tie that in gold side. And we'll start that down at the base of the tail. Just kind of try and keep that in the same side of the hook here up to the head. Next, I'm going to take in a little bit of uni yarn. This is the white. going to take a length here about uh, six or seven inches. I'm going to tie that in on top and we'll wind that back to the base of the tail. So just want to make sure everything's at the same spot here. Wind the thread back up. We're just going to kind of establish where we want our head to sit, just in here. I'm going to put a couple half hitches. And then I'm going to pull out my bobbin rest. We're going to wind this uni yarn up to the eye of the hook. So you just want to make sure that you do close touching turns. You don't want any gaps in between there.
mistakes a little bit, so bear with me. We'll just tie that off. I'm gonna tie that off right on top of the hook shank. Couple wraps, fold back your material to lock it in place. Trim off the excess. Then we're gonna reverse wrap a rib on this fly streamer or a bucktail with the silver side of the tinsel. So I just like to kind of try and establish an angle and just wrap forward. Wrap that off on top of the hook shank. Pull that back just to lock it in place before we trim it. Right, now we're going to need some bucktail. So we're going to use a white bucktail. The original uh, pattern calls for polar bear. Uh, if you don't have polar bear, bucktail is a great substitute. I'm going to tie this in in two sections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a probably about half of what I would usually take for a wing. And I'm going to take these longest hairs. I'm just going to pull those out and restack them. I'm going to roll that in my fingers just to kind of realign any of the hair. So anything that sticks out or is really short, I'm going to pluck it away, kind of thin this down just a little bit. And we're going to measure. I'm going to cut that off at a slight angle. Come in about halfway and come in on top. Lock all those hairs down. And I'm going to grab another section of hair. Basically, maybe a little bit less than what I have there. I'm going to do the same process. So start by taking the longest hairs, pull those out, just restack them. Then we're going to twist those between our thumb and forefinger. And anything that's ugly or short or just not well behaved. I'm going to pull that out. And we're going to measure that again. Trim it off. Come in on top here. A couple wraps to lock it in. All right, and last material, this is an optional step. We're gonna add a little bit of jungle cock. So I've got two feathers here. I place them back to back on the enamel. And we're just gonna measure them on the hook. Kind of get an eyeball to where we want them. And with them both together, I'll strip them both at the same time so that they are exactly the same length and I'm going to tie them in just one at a time though just a couple wraps and we'll fold that stem up now we'll put the one on the other side in here as well Hold that hackle tip up, or the butt end up. Kind of 
come in and trim off those butt ends of the jungle cock. We'll just clean that head up a touch. And we'll add a whip finish. And there you go. Here's your ready to fish Alaska Marianne. Thanks for stopping by my fly tying channel and watching my tutorials. If you're new here and like this sort of thing, why not hit that subscribe button? I'd love to hear from you, so if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.